Yeah, how are you going to spend the summer with the girls? What? How are you going to spend the summer with the girls? Well, you can imagine. We're going to have a very good time. We're in the middle, we're in the middle of our fourth, fourth and fifth season. So more money's playing. So do you um, make up all these original designs for the ladies to wear? Or? Well, I do, but also my daughter draws them and my son draws them. Okay. It's, it's basically a whole family business. Is it now? Yeah. And how long have you been working for Hugh? Uh, ten years or so. Ten years before. Really? Yeah, actually, I uh, shot. I, I used to shoot for the magazine too. I did the, was the first like digital cover for them, and oh, cute. it was the worst selling issue in the history of the magazine. So you know. Oh well, it's, you know, small stuff like that. But I, I body painted the February issue, the cover. Nice. And, uh, I've done a lot of work for, the, for Playboy. Nice. We do lots of work for lots of other people, too. I'm sure you do. Uh, what's the name of your company again? FraserArts.com. FraserArts.com. Cool yeah. beans. And so one. what's it like? Are you the one that actually applies the paint? Okay. I, I do, but we've got a crew of usually 8 to 15 people. Mm -hmm. uh, but because my daughter's at prom tonight, and my, my wife went along with that, it, it, it kind of chilled that out. My son went to his best friend's graduation from college today, oh, so I did a lot more painting today than I normally would. <laughs> I see. Oh, cool. What kind of paints do you use? Actually, they're, they are body paints, and they're made for us. And how long do they last on a person? Uh, the alcohol-based paints are made so that the girls at Hugh Hefner's parties can dance the entire time. They're said to, to be able to stay on for 72 hours. They're an alcohol-based paint. So uh, even with sweat or anything, that's the concept. Just, stay on. just don't spill beer on them or alcohol. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I've been interviewing other body painters um, that don't do the entire body, but they'll do like a part and then go dance in them. I think it's really a unique and interesting thing to do. Did you start off as a painter or an artist, or how did you yeah, start? Yeah, I have my de degree in fine, or master's in fine art. Um, I, I'm a painter. I, I have paintings all over the world. You know, okay. I'm an from, artist too. From I from uh, say. <laughs> Pro Football Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Fame. There's only one painting in the Playboy Club in Las Vegas. It's really? a painting I did at Hef. Oh, um, where, sculptures. Wait, wait. Slow down. Where is this painting that you did at Hef? It's in the Playboy Club at the Palms in Las okay. Vegas. In Las Vegas, when, okay. Right, when you come up the elevators, there's a painting of Hugh Hefner, and it's framed with gold leafing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's Pretty mine. cool. Yeah. All right, on. So, yeah, I paint, I sculpt, I do all kinds of do stuff. Do you have a gallery no, going? I, actually, it's... Or how do you sell your work? Or my, do you my, sell your work? Yes, I do. My <laughs> wife says my style is capitalism. Your style is capitalism? So anybody that wants to buy something, we do it whatever their style is. That's just like the body painting we do for, for the Playboy parties. Yeah. It has to look, usually look like lingerie because that's what Hugh Hefner wants. Yeah. Um, if we do things that are like Miller Beer, it has to, or the beer companies, they usually look like beer bottles with condensation and things. Yeah, they're a little, um, they're an advertise, walking advertisement That's for right. a particular company. That's right. And so, so that feeds into sort of like commercial, commercial art, commercial That's design, right? Yeah, well, but we also do stuff for, uh, say, uh, there's a, a new showing at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Yes. There was a, an Asian gentleman that does anime styled art and sculptures. Mm -hmm. uh, he came in around October. So when he had his reception, we replicated his sculptures, body painted. Oh wow! For, their, for his reception. Oh, how yeah. wonderful! Yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. But that was that was doubled up. We had two jobs. So it's performance that day. One art. One here and one for there. It's a, it becomes a performance sculpture. Well, yeah. and also we painted for Miller Beer live at events, uh, like at uh, live painting. Yeah, I just uh, recorded somebody doing that. Twenty mm -hmm. feet up in the air above Santa Monica Boulevard, we body painted girls live with like beer bottles. Oh my God! So, so it's like a billboard only on girls. Yes, uh, a few weeks ago we did mm -hmm. the largest lesbian party in the world. Where is that? Where's the largest Palm lesbian? Springs. It's the Dinah party. Dinah party. Okay. Drunk lesbians at a pool. Wow, I guess somebody's in heaven there, huh? Yeah, it wasn't me. Cool. <laughs> but it was a good time. We, we do, we've done it for like five years. For okay, and where are you based out of? Are you based out of L.A. here? Orange County. Oh, 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 see. Okay, well, we're long, I'm a Long Beach uh, company. We do the Sherwood Irvine. Forest. So on our street, we are the oddballs. I can, I can, well, yeah, but you're successful oddballs, and that yeah. makes it okay, doesn't it? <laughs> well, for all the guys that live on the street, the wives kind of look at us funny. They look at you funny? Yes. Well, if you have a playmate showing up to your house and their husbands are walking over with their glass of wine to say hi. I see. I see. Well, that's pretty funny. yeah, that's cute. But that's like cute. I said, our, my whole family's involved. Mm -hmm. yeah.
and um, my daughter just got accepted to UCLA. And what, what is she majoring in? She wants pre-med, she wants to be a doctor, but she body paints for me. Hey, that would be cool to put the uh, the invisible woman, you know, the outside of the body parts all on a woman. Have you ever done that before? No, I haven't done that. Okay, well, there's your idea. Straight okay. from Megan to you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And say your name again one more time. Back. Mark Frazier. Give she do it at my mate's place. How did they get how they like that to a party like it's yeah, good like different colors. Well, I think that people are a lot more California, so this is the state of fitness and health. I he says it doesn't mind, but I can tell it kind of mind. But I'm going to do it anyway. wow. yeah. This gym in here is right here. He's holding the high school. That's Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. She came from, she was bred in Florida. Oh, wow. Just he actually has the I, I have the uncle. The uncle. Are you the trainers or the, or the counselors? No, I'm a guest and he's a trainer. I do, I do it for a living, yeah. Do you, so. do you work every day? With yeah, animals? just about every day. Um, I just got back <laughs> I just got back from uh, Louisiana working with chimps, so, but I worked here before. So. Okay, and what's your name? So I'm, I'm Mike, Mike Christie, Mike. Mike. Cool. And so, what's, um, okay. It's, How does that work? They're Mr. Hefner's animals. Um, Holly has um, gotten the hyacinth for Mr. Hefner for, for, for him as birthday present recently. Oh, so, in a couple years back, she gave the male and female white peacocks. So, sorry, I'm going to move over here because right above me, as you see, is uh, oh, one of the peacocks. So, and you don't want to be standing under them at the wrong time. He's going to do do on me. Oh, no. Yeah, that would be great to get on camera, right? Wow. So, yeah. I bet it's kind of a big dump, huh? Look at, those, look at those tails on that. What's her name? So that's actually name? a male. The males, male? male peacocks have the colors and all that, and that's yeah. to attract the females well, that fan it out. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, hey, you gotta, you yeah. know. They're the ones with the big tail, but the females don't have that? They don't. They have more of a brown, as you can see. Oh, that's a male again right here. That's okay. male peacock. The oh. females receive more brown headed. They're they amazing. The I've never seen one up close before. Right, right. That's cool. So, so this is like um, a zoo that's open. What is that called? It's I mean, not open to the public. It's uh, private property. No, it's no. Like, I mean, it's like um, it's not aviary. Yeah. I mean, they're they're sanctuary. they're out and about. They're sanctuary. They're can they fly around or right, they right, yeah. come these, back? I mean, these guys. Um, yes, the peacocks can. Uh, occasionally, they go on the golf course. We got to go get them back. Uh huh. How many how many acres do they have out here? To are, are they allowed to roam around all over the place? Or um, yeah. Uh, now, whose idea uh, was it? Well, uh, ever since reality shows began, that you know, the fat pictures, and I was the next to do a reality show. And it was Kevin Burns who produced our show that came up with an ocean, and the ocean inspired one, and the, the focus is on the girls, and the focus uh, takes a little bit of pressure off of me, right, it turned right. out to be, you know, the original training, and it was very popular, uh, unexpectedly, and especially with women. That was a surprise, I think, to play that too. Uh, uh, Well, the, the reality is that there has not been a single one, but probably the most important one was in uh, the tail end of 1953 when I came out with that first issue of Playboy magazine that changed my entire life. I tell you, you've heard this before, but every man out there, married, single, looks at you and is like, darn it, he did it. <laughs> well, you were very kind. Thank you. He pulled it off. Listen, and thank again. you very much for letting us come here tonight. It is my pleasure. You have a great evening. Thank you very much. You have there. Thank you. It's 1043 by event. Valentine is going to take a great bow. You're so beautiful. Beautiful. You could be a waitress. You're so beautiful. You could be an air hostess in the 60s.